Hello my wonderful and amiable listeners. Welcome to yet another interesting news. The Federal Capital Territory FCT Minister Wayne Tomiki remains the People Democratic Party PDP leader despite in President Ashwa Jubala Metunumbu's cabinet, the Senate Minority Leader said. Senate, Senator Leroy Onyomi, the Senate Deputy Minority Leader, has stated that when some week, the Federal Capital Territory FCT Minister remains a leader of the opposition party, the People Democratic Party PDP. When some week, he adhered his party to expel him. Speaking on the possibility of getting expelled from the People Democratic Party PDP for anti party activities, once on week it did those contemplating the move saying that nobody can expel me. Senator Onyewumi, while addressing newsmen in Ikiri, Oshun State, at the weekend said what was happening between once on week and the People Democratic Party PDP was the effect of the aftermath of the general election, saying such an incident was not restricted to the People Democratic Party only, but other parties. He said Wayne Tomiki is one of our prominent leaders. He did wonderfully well in River State during the last general election. His successor is one of the People Democratic Party PDP governors who has never missed any People Democratic Party program. This program is not a People Democratic Party PDP issue alone. A few days ago, some people suspended Senator Rabi Musa Kwakwanto from the new Nigerian People Party NNPP. Some of his own people also suspended those who suspended him. Look at what happened to the national chairman and the national secretary of the All Progressive Congress APC that produced the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in person of Ashwa Jubala Ametinubu. They were removed almost immediately after the swearing in of President Ashwa Jubala Ametinubu. So the issue is in all the parties. After you go for the general election, there will be some t- turbulences. It is like when a plane takes off or takes off or lands, you have to fasten your seat belt. This is the period for fasting belts for political parties, but after the next one year, everything will subsidize. Senator Leroy Yewumi, who is the senior minority leader, senior deputy minority leader stated that the Federal Capital Territory FCT Minister Wayne Somiki remains the leader of the People Democratic Party. He said Wayne Somiki may have some issues that he is reacting to, but I am sure that the party leadership are handling it very well. Ezin Wayne Somiki, who is a Nigerian politician and lawyer and the current Minister of the Federal Capital Territory. Also, Mickey was previous, previously served as the governor of River State from 2015 to 2023. He is an inquiry from Rumu Pekikom in Obio Akbo River State. He is a member of the People Democratic Party and was educated at the River State University of Science and Technology. Also, Mickey who began his political career as an executive chairman of Obio Akbo local government area in River State in 1999. A position he held until 2007. After being re-elected in 2003, in 2007 he was appointed as a chief of staff to the governor of River State, Roti Miyamichi. In July 2011, he was appointed as the Minister of State for Education by the incumbent president, President Guloki Bilo Jonathan, and was promoted to the Federal Minister of Education in September 2013. He stepped down as the federal minister to contest in the 2015, 2015 gubernatorial election in his home state in River State. On the 13th of May 2015, the election tribunal for River State sitting in Abuja commenced the hearing of the election of Wiki. Dr. Dakoko Peter said of the All Progressive Congress was asking the tribunal to notify the election of Owens Omiki of the People Democratic Party, who had, was declared winner as governor in the pool held on the 11th of April 2015 on the grounds that it was right and with malpractice and non-compliance with the provision of the Electoral Act. Wiki opposed the hearing of the case in Abuja 
arguing that the tribunal should be held in Port Harcourt, but the then president of the Court of Appeal, Justice Zenob Bukashawa, rejected Wiki's argument and ordered that the tribunal be held in Abuja for reason of security. Justice Zenob also ordered that, beside River State, all election petition tribunals for Adamawa, Bono, and Yobo State be held in Nigerian capital, Abuja. After failing to serve Wiki's with court summons, presiding Justice, President Justice Muazu Pindiga approved the request by Mr. Oluarutimi Oduanyo Akredolu, the counsel for Dr. Dakoko Peter's side of the All Progressive Congress, to grant an order for substituted service on the governor's elect because Wiki had been evading service of the court summon and other processes and the petition challenging Wiki's elections. Akure Dolu stated that the court's beliefs had on several occasions visited Wiki's residence to effect court service on him, but was on all occasions turned back at the gate by Wiki's security guards upon the discovery that it was a court belief. Ruling in on the petition, counsel motion, Justice Pindiga, who granted the prayers, ordered that the court processes should be pasted on the wall of Wiki's house. The election tribunal was informed that the Independent National Electoral Commission is in River State awarded Wiki vote almost five times higher than the actual authentic total numbers of accredited voter readers and permanent voters' cards. However, a document was signed by Ibrahim Bawa, the acting director in charge of INEC Legal Unit, and Abimbola Oladunjoi, head of the unit. INEC declared once on Wiki winner of the River State governorship election on the, on the 3rd of April 2019. After suspending the process for some days, Wiki took his oath of office on Wednesday, 29th of May 2019, at Yakubu Gowon Stadium, Port Harcourt, as he commenced his second term. In his address, he promised to put River State first. In May 2022, he considered to the People Democratic Party presidential candidate but lost to Atiku Abubakar. He also supported Sim Fibuba as the People Democratic Party governorship candidate in River State. On the 27th of July 2023, President Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu sent once on Wiki's name, along with 27 others, to the 10th Nigerian Senate as ministerial nominees. On the 31st of July 2023, Wiki was screened by the Senate where he declared that President Ashiwa Jubala Ahmed Tunubu would not regret ever nominating him as a minister on his cabinet. That will be all for now. Please don't forget to click on the like and subscribe button. And let us know your thoughts or your opinion via the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next news. Bye for now.